Hey Nesters, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm sharing with you a Goodwill thrift haul. This goes with my last thrift along with me. And I will go ahead and get started. I do believe most of these items I will be reselling, so I'll just start on the side, I guess. The first two things I'm gonna share with you are these cute little vintage juice glasses. They were marked a dollar a piece. I got them for 75 cents a piece. I did get 25% off my entire order today. And I don't know, I just really liked this one because of the florals and I'm always really drawn to vintage glasses. This style here would go with a pitcher set and I am collecting those and trying to gather a bunch of glasses to go with the set and probably eventually will resell them, but I'm just, you know, picking them up as I see them. So I picked those two up there. This here is something I wouldn't normally resell. I tend not to sell religious items, but it, this was a vintage Relpo. It is marked on the bottom here and it has the Relpo sticker. I paid $2.25 for this and it's a you know nice little planter. And I think I can ask about 25 for that. And yeah, I just thought it was a nice piece. I think it would go with a lot of different type of decor. So I decided to go ahead and give that a try. I did find one lamp that was really cool to me. I really like Americana kind of stuff here. And I don't know, I just thought this was really interesting. I like the wood cone shape here of the you know upper part. And then this is, I don't know if it's fiberglass, it's some kind of a plastic, plastic material here. And it has the eagle, of course, with the stars. And I'm gonna have to find a lampshade for this, but I only paid $2.25 for it. I think that was a steal, so I think that was a really cool find there. I found this cool little 1960s scale. It's just a little dietic scale for the kitchen. I like the little petite size of it, so I'll likely just keep that. They don't sell for a whole lot, so I think I'll just add that to my kitchenware collections that I you know, tend to like to get. I did find this, I thought this was kind of interesting. It is hand painted, it has a little St. Bernard on it with some wilderness scenery in the background there. It is blank wood around the side and on the inside it has this like crushed red velvet material and I paid 75 cents for it. I believe it's just like a little pencil holder and I thought, you know, anyone that it likes St. Bernard's would definitely think this was a cool piece. I've never had a St. Bernard, but I think they're cool dogs, so I was definitely gonna give that a shot, and I'm not sure on the price on that yet. So the gardener in me was super happy when I saw this adorable little jar here with the tomato top on it, and I've never seen anything like this before. It does appear to be on the older side, probably maybe around the 70s or 80s, and I paid 75 cents for that. I think it's really fun. I actually picked these guys up here a couple of weeks ago in a thrift haul, but I forgot to share them with you. I am putting them up on Etsy. Probably ask about 25 to 30 and include free shipping with them since there is two of them. And I think they're really nice. I do collect bird figurines, but these ones are a little too matchy-matchy for my style, but I think people that have a little bit more of a neutral look to their home, you know, I have kind of wild colors going on in my home. But I think, you know, someone would definitely enjoy these and I was definitely happy to pick those up for someone. This is one of those things that I went back and forth whether I should get it or not because it's super heavy for one. I believe it's even like a cement. That's what, how heavy it feels. I really believe it's made of cement. It's just a really cool vase though. And I love the texture to it and how the paint kind of has a bit of unevenness, so it kind of just breaks up nicely. I kind of paid up for it. They had it marked six, so I paid about four bucks for it. And yeah, it'll probably be a local to meet resale item because it's super heavy. I think it would ship quite expensively, but it was a really fun piece and I may just hang on to it for a while anyways, but I don't know. I really liked it and I figured why not? <laughs> I found another Tang pitcher here. This one's in white. I have the orange one right here. This one's my favorite so far that I've come across. But this one's really neat. It has this very beautiful white florals all around the outside of it. And I do believe this one's a bit larger than mine up here. 
can see the size difference. So it's a little bit larger than this size there. And yeah, I just think it's super fun. I think I might resell this one, but uh, I might be starting a Tang picture collection. So <laughs> we'll see what happens there. I don't think they sell for a whole lot. So I don't really don't mind hanging on to it for the time being. And yeah, it's just a really fun picture. This here is obviously Mount Rushmore. And my family, we actually plan to purchase an RV in the very near future. And we're gonna go on a year hiatus traveling the United States and doing some road schooling with our kids. We are gonna homeschool. So this is actually the first place we plan to visit. And it just, you know, kind of reminded me of our goal. So I'm gonna add this to my current United States while I'm collecting up there. And yeah, hopefully next year we'll be seeing this soon, right? So that was an exciting find. I did grab a few hats today. My husband actually is starting up his own eBay and he wants to kind of look into the more, you know, sports memorabilia kind of stuff, t-shirts, hats, and probably some gamer kind of stuff and give that a shot with the reselling selling world. And I've been wanting to throw some stuff up on eBay anyway, so I'll probably just toss mine on his eBay. But I did pick this up for my son. It's just a brand new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle hat. It has the tag on it still. And they were asking for, so I believe I paid three bucks for it. And yeah, I thought that was a pretty good deal there. Always handy to have in the summertime to keep the sun off you, so. I thought that was a good find. And I got some pictures I'm gonna share with you here. This first one, I don't know <laughs> why I really wanted it. I think it looks like the illustrations, you know, really fine line illustrations that you would come across. So I don't know, I thought, you know, I was definitely drawn to it. It definitely would go for a more neutral home, so. This will be a booth item and I only paid $1.50 for it, but I really liked it and I think someone will enjoy that, so. Now my office is in a hot array right now because if you guys have been watching my channel, you know I've switched my bedroom with my office. So my bedroom is now downstairs and I'm still working on putting that together. So I haven't really got to, you know, rearrange and redecorate my office. But I did have a bit of an 80s kid theme going on there. I like to collect 80s kind of toys just for fun. I don't mean I don't want to hoard it, but it's kind of fun just to have that colorful ambiance in my office. It just kind of makes it a little bit more cheery and playful for me. I did find a older Smurf poster here. It is framed, so it wasn't very expensive and likely I'll just do the 80s theme up there as well. But it's this one here. And yeah, so I think it's really cute and it's a pretty good size. It's maybe a little bit bigger than I would have liked, but it should take up a little bit of space and it should be a nice addition for a backdrop to my 80s toys. So before I share with you the last item I picked up, I wanted to let you know that this is actually the shopping trip that I went when I did the $5 Goodwill challenge. So I'm not sharing with you the actual picture I got because I already did that in a previous video. I'll link that below, but it's the one with the three little girls and the balloons. It's a nice cruel piece and I have it in my bedroom. I set up this little dressing station with it. So if you guys wanna see what it looks like, check out the link below and I'll put it on the uh, end screen here so you can just tap on the video as well. This is the last item I'm sharing with you guys today and it is a stunning piece. This is a needlework cacti art piece here and I was pretty shocked to see this when I saw it because cacti is super popular right now, right? And you know the time that went into making this, I was just thinking to myself, someone probably made this somewhat recently. It doesn't appear to be too old. I mean, I'm sure it's a little bit, but not bad. And for someone to just have spent all that time making it and then donated it, I, it just seems so weird to me, so. I was definitely happy to snag it up. I will definitely probably keep this. It's just too cool of a piece. I only paid $4 for it in that range. It was March 6th and yeah, it's a super fun piece. I was definitely perhaps the greatest score today other than my $5 Goodwill challenge item. I really like that as well. But yeah, that's gonna do it for this haul today, guys. Like I said, my husband is going to do a different haul with the other items we picked up today. 
on his channel. It's, you know, the more guy stuff. So if you're interested in that, I'll link his channel down below as well. And be sure to give this video a like if you enjoyed it. And we'll catch you in the next one. Bye.